Hello there, Dennis Fuller again with TripPlanning101.com and what I like to refer to is what to know before you go. Uh, this YouTube channel along with my website which is at TripPlanning101.com is dedicated to help you have the courage if you haven't as yet to travel internationally. My wife and I uh, started about seven years ago. We both still work. Uh, so we just take our vacation time uh, each year to go on some of these outings. We've been to 15 countries in the last seven years and have had a marvelous time doing it. And we'd love to see you out there somewhere uh, visiting uh, foreign lands and doing things that, you know, you just never thought you could probably do uh, because it's important to you. It's important because uh, you'll be amazed of the wonderful places and people that you'll meet. It widens your horizon tremendously. Uh, it's great fun coming home and, and sitting down watching TV and go, oh, yeah, I've been there. and Yeah, I've seen that. And, yeah, we're standing right there. and uh, it, It's just kind of a unique experience. So I uh, really encourage you uh, to utilize the things on our website to uh, make a trip planned out so that you can avoid some of the pitfalls that if you've never traveled internationally before, uh, you can avoid those and make that experience just a wonderful time. I know it has been for us. So anyway, today's uh, agenda covers two things. Uh, one thing is using travel agencies. Now, we have used travel agencies in doing our own trip planning and, of course, going with tour groups. Now, sometimes a tour group will be associated with an agency. Sometimes they're independent of an agency. Uh, sometimes they're kind of, you know, you know, some and some not, you know. So uh, anyway, uh, travel agencies are not uh, something to fear. Uh, they aren't something that's going to cost a huge amount of money, uh, considering what they do for you. Now, uh, using an agency, and I think I mentioned this on uh, the previous video in regards to planning your own trip uh, or even going with groups, that agencies have information that you as a normal internet you know, visitor is, are not going to have. Uh, they will tell you such things as probably the best time to purchase airline tickets. Uh, if there are any special fare things going on out there. I know there's all kinds of websites out there that go you know, discount this and discount that and, and I've checked a lot of them as we look for fares in places and uh, after hours of searching uh, come up to the realization that uh, some of them, you know, they're so specific they're going to give you discounts but you're going to get discounts because you know you leave at uh, one o'clock in the morning or you know, they just aren't times we like to travel because uh, I'm exhausted by the time I, you know, get where I'm going or arrive at, you know, five o'clock in the morning and, well, what do you do? You can't check into your hotel. Uh, you know, there's nothing to do. So, uh, you know, having things scheduled out so that you can leave at a decent hour in the morning, don't have to get up at three in the morning to get to the airport. Uh, you can arrive at a good time uh, if you need to. Uh, they'll let you know that, oh, hey, there's a really good hotel right at the airport there, so you can get off the plane, spend the night at the, you know, hotel in the airport. We did this when we went to Johannesburg uh, this last trip, and uh, it was great because we didn't have to travel somewhere to get somewhere and go through a bunch of hassle, that it was right there, you know, within the airport, uh, you know, facility. And uh, we can get right to our rooms. We can get out and wander around the evening. And, and that was really an enjoyable part, uh, first getting there after a very, very long flight. So, uh, you know, use travel agencies. They charge you, I think it's usually $25 to set up your airfare for you. Uh, you know, I don't know if you've tried to set up your own airfare. Uh, you know, that can be done, and you can, especially if you go on a you know, airline that you're familiar with, we fly Delta a lot because Delta has a hub where we live here. And so, you know, I'm a, you know, frequent flyer with them. And so I know how to go to their website and I can call their, you know, medallion uh, 
service and ask for help there. But they're really good about helping you, being gracious. Uh, you know, I can go to the website. This is, uh, I'll explain in one of the next videos on how to pick your seats properly uh, so that you aren't the one in the middle seat or you aren't crammed in against the you know, outer wall with uh, strangers on the other side of you and you know, things like that. So uh, I'll cover that in more depth in the next video. But this one's just to have you know that travel agencies, they aren't the boogeyman. Uh, they are there because they know good hotels to go to uh, when you're in other countries. They have contacts uh, so that you can be put in touch with uh, travel um, guides when you go to different countries and know how to hire them up front and know that they're waiting for you when you get off the plane and can get you to your hotel and, and are just, you know, super help that way. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't be afraid of travel agencies. They aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. In fact, they may save you an arm and a leg. So, uh, you know, thumbs up to most. And, and shop around. You don't have to do the one in your neighborhood, your, your town. Uh, you may not have one in your particular town. But uh, uh, if you do, yes, yeah, support your local people. But uh, shop around and find out where you're going to get the best service. Uh, there are on occasion that we get things on short trips that we can find better deals ourselves than what the travel agency was offering us. So they aren't going to be the most expensive all the time. They aren't going to be the cheapest all the time. But, uh, you know, reach out, you know, get a good connection with a travel agent that you use all the time, and uh, it will be a real blessing to you because it will make your traveling experience a whole lot easier. So other than that, that's kind of what I have to tell you on you know, being able to use a travel agency. Uh, the next thing I'd like to talk to you about, in fact, it's on my agenda on the website, and let's see if I can get to it. It is, let's see, oh, sorry, my page got pushed down to the bottom. But again, if you go to the website, you'll be able to get a little more information in regards to that. I did add another feature to the website recently that I think you really like. Uh, you can go up and uh, click on it says, let me look it up here. It uh, gives you a connection to go to a printable version of the uh, yeah, my itinerary index on there. And it's neat to have that so you can print it out because I actually give you some other additional information just in short little reminders on there. But currently I think I have 22 items on it and you want to go through and check off, you know, just about all 22 of them because they are things that you're going to want to remember and you want to accomplish before you leave home. Uh, it's that important and that'll help make that trip a lot, you know, more enjoyable. Because you just look through the website, you aren't going to remember them, uh, all of them. Uh, go to my YouTube videos, you'll remember some of the things, but not everything. So uh, pull that out. You can print it as a PDF file, I believe, and uh, you know take that and mark it off as you're making your plans to go. And uh, it'll really save you from forgetting things you really want to accomplish. So the last thing on my index... It is, uh, oh, bathroom facilities, one of my favorite. Uh, when you get older, now if you're, you're fairly young and uh, you know, you're you know, looking at this, trying to get some ideas and all, uh, hey, bless you. I know young people, they don't have uh, near the challenges that some of us older people do. And one of those challenges, I know it is with me, that uh, you know, to be quite blunt, uh, you want to know where the bathroom facilities are. Uh, don't have the capacity that I used to have of uh, being able to wait all day long or you know two days before I need to go use the restroom. That uh, when I'm traveling, uh, I like to kind of know where things are so that uh, if I feel like I need to go use the restroom, uh, I know right where it is and I can go do that. 
So when you're on the plane, no big issue, uh, but it is good, and I talked about that on picking the proper seat. You want to be somewhere where it's really easy to get out. Uh, so you want an aisle seat if you, you know, can, uh, so you aren't climbing over people trying to get out to get to the restroom. Uh, the best times on the plane for the restroom is not right after uh, one of your meals, because that's when everybody's going to the bathroom, and you have to, you know, stand, <coughs> excuse me, have to stand in line, trying not to bother other people and, and everything as you're waiting to be able to use the facilities there. So uh, think about it a little bit, plan around it, uh, utilize it when it's not so busy, and uh, you can avoid, you know, waiting in line then. Uh, when you get off the plane, uh, airports. Uh, this drives me nuts because when you get off the plane at your gate, uh, you know, even if you may not feel like you need to, uh, look for a restroom because usually there's ones fairly close uh, to where you get off the plane. Because once you pass those up and then you continue on down to pick up your luggage, you're going through customs, uh, that kind of thing, that can take a long time, especially if you're going through customs. You can be an hour or so getting through customs. And my experience with customs is there is no restrooms in that general area. And you'd need to get out of, you know, line and a very long line because you've got, you know, 500 people who just got off your plane. They're trying to get through customs. And it can be a real problem uh, trying to find a spot where, you know, you can you know, hurry and go and then come back and get in line again. So no matter how you feel, uh, take the opportunity to do that before you end up getting in a long waiting line somewhere. Uh, the other thing to realize, uh, if you're going to be on a tour bus and you're with a group, the tour buses uh, have a, a restroom facility on the bus, but they usually try to get you not to use the one on the bus. Uh, I don't know what all the reasons are other than, you know, they don't want to have to go through the trouble of uh, cleaning that out when they stop somewhere and all. But uh, they, you know, usually it's for emergencies. So make sure before you get on the bus uh, to, you know, find a restroom and utilize that somewhere. Uh, when you are traveling, uh, unlike the United States where, you know, you have McDonald's around every corner or, you know, bathrooms every place, uh, you may not find that as you're traveling in other countries. They may be far and few between. Uh, on tour buses, they give you the opportunity to stop every couple of hours uh, at places to be able to use the bathrooms there. And so you're good at that point in time. Uh, but again, uh, take advantage of it because it could be a long time before you get to the next stop. Uh, really embarrassing and say, uh, can you stop the bus along the side of the road here? I can't wait. So, uh, you know, plan that out as you go. The other thing that you need to know when you're traveling in other countries is that if you want to use a nice clean bathroom, uh, oftentimes you have to pay to do that. And so when you're at the airport, and I mentioned this on one of the previous ones about exchanging money, you want to get some of their coins, usually the equivalent of a dollar, and you want to keep those handy in a pocket or your purse or someplace, because oftentimes, uh, you will need to have something like that to go in and use these facilities. Sometimes they have gates on them, sometimes they have attendants there, and oftentimes you'll find ones even at the airport that they'll have an attendant there that'll hand you, you know, a paper towel even though you can go get your own, and they expect a tip. And so it's good to have a dollar in foreign currency in their money everything that you can, you know, drop in the box for them. So, uh, you know, keep change handy so that you have that. And other than that, you know, I've never had a big emergency. I've had some time where I start looking around and uh, haven't had an issue after all these, you know, 15 countries, uh, things have worked out well. But I've learned that one fact, uh, you don't want to be miserable uh, you know, or have a, you know, issue where, you know, you have a problem, uh, that's a whole lot more of a problem than, a, you know, uh, something, you know, with the group or by yourself that you have to deal with something that otherwise you can avoid. 
So uh, keep that in mind. Just plan and uh, you know follow your plan, and I think you'll have a great time when you're out traveling around. So other than that, uh, that's my tip for your travel on being able to use restrooms. Let's see. I think the next one I think I'm going to spend just do a separate video on the next one or two, and those are my final two that I'll have in this series that go with the website, unless we add some additional things, which we probably will, to the website as people comment about, oh, you should talk about this, or you should add this to the, to the website for people traveling. So we're planning on keeping this updated with additional information that you can provide for us. So uh, if you would, if this was helpful to you, uh, and even my other ones, uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. Uh, that goes a long way in uh, having uh, YouTube know that you liked uh, what I put on these videos. And uh, if you want to subscribe there, uh, I'm going to provide some great products we find that you really want to get, uh, especially on long trips and everything that will make that traveling a whole lot easier. And uh, if we can find some websites, and I have found some, uh, that will really help you in planning on where you might want to go and some great resources that I found and used, and uh, just just to help you out. Nothing I'm going to charge you for. I just want you to have the opportunity to have a great trip, and hopefully one of these days I might bump into you somewhere and you're traveling around the world. See you later. Bye.